Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to touch base with you this week to discuss the new NEA context that was released by AQA on the 1st of June. Essentially, it's the old fashioned coursework project. So I thought of by, we would start by going through some bits and pieces. So this is the official NEA 2020 coursework launch. It counts for 50% of your GCSE. So it's really important we put a lot, lot of effort and sustained interest for this project. AQA release three contexts every year. Some of them are really, really interesting, some a bit more challenging, some are more open. So I went with the most open one, which is nature and the environment. Essentially, you have to design a product that solves a problem related loosely to nature and the environment. The project will last from March or from now until March. I have sent you out some letters via email to you and your parents. Can you please check your emails and also get your parents to read their emails to check this letter? If you haven't received this, do let me know. The project's about 20 pages long and it's about 35 hours altogether. So if we start it now, it's roughly an hour per week. That doesn't include time dawdling on YouTube and the internet and researching or trying to work things out. It's actually put in pen to paper. So it's 35 hours long. You are required to make one prototype. Now a prototype is roughly a working product. It doesn't have to be completely working, completely functional, but it should have the capability of showing what you want to solve. And the idea is you would give this final prototype, if you're in the real world, to a factory who will be able to make a fully functional commercial product. Part of the mark scheme says your product has a commercial viability. In other words, you can't go and make a space rocket covered in gold leaf. It's never going to work. It's not commercial. Even Richard Branson struggles with that. So we need to think about what we can produce, which is available to us in the school workshop, but also solves the problem you are going to outline. In term six, we are going to cover these four areas. We're going to investigate the context. You're going to research the context. You're going to interview your target market and you're going to come up with an initial brief, which will be to design and make a blah, blah, blah. The first steps. What I want you to do is to talk to your parents. Please use your parents as a target market. In the past, people have asked their older sister who may live in London. They may have asked a sibling. It's far easier to ask your parents in this project. I would like you to write down a list of 20 to 30 issues loosely associated with nature and the environment. This doesn't have to be negative issues. And also, please do not select kind of issues such as I want to get rid of all the plastic in the ocean or I'm going to make kind of a renewable energy source please keep it simple. I mean, examples of issues which could be quite interesting issues for you to investigate. You could think about promoting outside learning because we're going to go back to a school, going to go back to kind of normality, do I say, dare I say, in an environment where we may have to do a bit more outside learning. Or it could be that you want to encourage young children to get outside more into nature. So it could be some sort of a product that helps them identify different things within the environment. You could develop a product loosely associated or inspired by nature. I mean, Art Nouveau is a really, really good starting point for this. Art Nouveau was a design movement inspired by nature and the environment. So you could produce a product in the style of Art Nouveau, in the style of uh, nature and the environment. Oh, and lastly, you could develop um, a modern picnic basket to bring families together more so it gets more people outside into nature. Most picnic baskets these days are kind of wicker style that's been around for the last 200 years. Think of a modern one. But what I will say is please do think about kind of issues. Don't think about actual products that you're going to make. Um, they, they talk about this thing of being kind of narrow minded and kind of the idea that people already have in their mind. I know I want to design this, but actually that's not the way to go. You want to try and design a product from an issue you have identified. So in this stage, I only want you to identify issues and problems, not thinking about final products. The work this week I want you to do. Um, 
I want you to read my PowerPoint. I sent you out a link, it's on Teams. Please read the PowerPoint up to slide 15. Try to make sense of it. Have a look at the mark schemes. We're only thinking about the initial section at the moment. We're not thinking about reading all the way through. I mean, the PowerPoint, let's have a quick look. The PowerPoint is nearly 100 slides long. I only want you to read the first 15. Don't do any of the tasks. I just want you to kind of familiarize yourself with it. I would like you to write 20 to 30 issues. Now you could start off a brand new PowerPoint you could give it a title of NEA 2020. You could put the context um, as the title is a product inspired by nature and the environment or a product to um, kind of improve a problem associated with nature and environment. But just write those down. They can be really rough. It could be on a piece of paper. At this stage, we're only thinking about things. We're not actually committing ourselves. I would like you to prepare any questions you have for me based on this kind of video. I'm hoping to do a, a Teams with you this week where I do a live kind of broadcast where you can type in some questions you have for me, ask me any kind of issues, something you're not sure about, anything to do with this kind of NEA that I've just thrown upon you. So have a go at thinking of any issues. It could be, well, what could I do? What could I think? And my parents aren't helping me with this. Anything you can think of, okay? And then when we do this broadcast, you've got those questions already. I will go through the PowerPoint with you, the first 15 slides. And that's why it's helpful for you to have a think about what's on the first 15 slides. And we'll work through this together. The time scale for this is kind of this, this term. We're thinking about the brief. We're thinking about doing some research and getting ready to kind of do the initial ideas. You could do some scribbly sketches over the summer holidays. But the idea is that when we come back in September, we will start to do some ideas and we start to develop a product. You want to try and do it so by Christmas time, you have actually got in, in your mind and on a piece of paper, on a PowerPoint, what you're gonna do, you've got your initial ideas done, you've developed it, you've tested it, you've done some rough models, you've worked out the sizes, everything like that. And then after Christmas, we start making it. And then between Christmas and March, we will be developing a final prototype, which is making this prototype. It could be made by hand, it could be made by laser, it could be 3D printed, it could be a combination of everything. And then, at the beginning of March, we will do an evaluation and you hand in around about, I think I said the, the middle of the second week of March. Now, this date could move. We don't know what we're going to be doing when we come back in September, but it's just to kind of get you started, get you thinking about what we're going to be doing. OK, and more than anything, good luck. It's it's good fun doing this. Last year's cohort did really, really well. And the cohort the year before, who were the first cohort, produced some amazing concepts. And I've got really kind of good hopes for you as a group. You're a, you're a good bunch of students. You've got some really good ideas and I've been dead impressed with the work you've been sending through to me on lockdown. Um, so if it's anything to go by the work you've been sending through, you are going to do really, really well as a cohort of students. So um, with that said, have a good week. I will catch up with you later in the week um, and hopefully I'll be seeing some of you in school in a couple of weeks time. Have fun.